A new Bloomberg national poll shows that Trump's favorability has jumped up to 50 percent. This is up from 35 percent in the previous poll, which was taken on August 16th. Joining us right now, the former Notre Dame football coach and Trump supporter Lou Holtz. Lou, good to see you. Thank you, Marie. Delighted to be with you. Well, you've been on the Trump train since the beginning, but what do you think is causing this increase in favorability for President-elect Donald Trump? I think because he's providing leadership. If you're a leader, you have a vision. He has a vision where he wants to take this country. He also has a plan. And when you have a vision and a plan, people are going to follow it. That's what you said earlier. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, Luke, uh, greetings from uh, William and Mary and the Constantinos family. <laughs> Uh, uh, John was one of my favorite. <laughs> uh, so, you know, what do you think the next big move is for Trump in terms of, I think his, he really has played the symbolism of the carrier, uh, you know, job savings and so forth. What do you think the next big moment for his presidency is? I, I think the fact of putting together the cabinet. You know, people talk about the fact that he has named three different generals to his cabinet. And I think that is great. The reason I say that, number one, they have a great education. Two, they have outstanding moral courage. But more importantly, they know how to take a group of people, subjugate their own welfare for the welfare of the overall group. They know how to put together a team, and they hold people accountable. And this nonsense about, well, they'll start a war. That is ridiculous. I was an officer in the Army. I've been to Afghanistan. I've been to Iraq. I've been in the hospital. A general understands more than anybody else about the difficulty of going to war and the harm it causes so many people. You're not playing video games in Washington where you have somebody who's never been in the Army, never been in the military, never had to make these decisions that, oh, let's go do this. So I think he's on the right track. I think as long as he continues to have that vision and that plan and hold people accountable in his organization, he, he will continue to survive. But there's always going to be people that aren't going to be happy about it, but that's because they have a different objective. He has an objective. As long as you have the same objective, you'll never have a problem with anybody. It's when you have two different objectives that problems occur.